Hey, hi, this is Sunil Shetty from Infa GCS. Today we will talk about configure and monitor the JMSQ through JBoss CLI. Today's topic agenda will be how to add a JMSQ via CLI and how to view message statistics in JBoss UI as well as CLI, view attributes of JMSQ and statistics, followed by a demo and then a summary. So let's talk about JMS and JBoss EAP7 first. So JMS is nothing but a Java messaging service. It's in a Java API which provides both point-to-point -point and publish subscriber messaging style. In the JBoss EAP6, earlier it was Hornet Q was a messaging broker. From the 7. Dot further version, we are having Apache ActiveMQ Artemis. The JMS integration with MDM. MDM allows the JMS Q connection to the MDM server. So we have our own defined queues which is used for internal purpose. We also expose outbound queue so that downstream can consume the messages which got added in the MDM. So to create we need to JMS queue has to be created in the JBoss server and then configure the same in Hub Console. So you can refer the Informatica KB 163895 which talks about the detailed steps of creating a JMS queue in the Hub Console. How to add and view JMSQ via CLI in JBoss? So we can add a JMSQ from the CLI command. This other way is to add Q is to edit the standard full XML and then we need to restart. So with the help of CLI, we don't need to restart. We just have to run the commands and then it takes a runtime value. You can see the command below I have given JMSQ add with the Q address as a Q name. For example, I have given my test informatica queue. With that name, we will add the queue, and this I'm going to show in the demo as well how to add the queue. So, and there are a couple of other commands which will be helpful. That is, to display all the message queues, and then to read specific queue. The next is a view attributes of JMSQ and statistics. We can see the attributes of JMSQ, which is given by the JBoss CLI. Also, we can see the statistics of a JMS specific queue. What is the count getting added, or what is getting consumed? Now let's talk about demo. Okay, as I said, this JBoss CLI bat, which is a CLI command, it will be present in JBoss EAP bin directory. You have to run this bat file. Since it is a Windows, I'm using dot bat. If you are in Linux, you have to use dot sh. So once you execute this bat command. So we have to type the connect command. So once it's con connected, the whatever commands which I talked in the presentation, I will try to run those commands and then I will show you. So let's first display all the message queues in the server. See these are the queues if I see right. So these are the Cypress if JMS queue, which is internal queue, which is configured from the MDM side. So this is one of the queue which I configured for test Informatica one, and then this is Smart Search queue. Still there are many other here, and again this is Smart Search queue as I said, and then test queue which I've configured this test queue. So this by this command you will give all the it will display all the message queues. Let's go for let's try to add one message queue. Let me talk here in the Notepad. To add a queue, this is syntax JMSQ add and then queue address my test informatica one. Let me change it and then give my test informatica new as a queue name. Okay, so let me copy paste in everywhere in the entries as well as in the exported queue. So let me run this command and I will show you how it got added. Okay, it's not copied properly. Let me try to copy again. Yeah. So you didn't get any error. If there is any issue with the queue, you get an error. If it is success, it won't prompt any message. But yeah, it has been released the control. Now let's see read that specific queue which I have given. Let me give the you know see this is the command we need to use for a specific queue to read. JMS queue read resource queue address my test from the queue. Let me give some wrong value so that let me show you what will happen when we try to search the queue which is not present. See it's saying not found. Okay. So let me correct the queue. That is new one. That's a correct queue name. Sorry, new. That's a correct queue name. 
So you can see the the durable true entries and the queue, the queue name, everything what is stayed here. So this way we can read a specific queue and even the add queue which I mentioned. So this is really helpful when you don't want to restart your server for adding a message queue, you can use a CLI command. Let's talk about attributes. When I say attribute for any queue, JBoss has given a lot of attributes adding to that so that it can be used as per the requirement. So there are multiple attributes like you know expiry address, expiry queue. If you want to expiry queue, you know after for some period of time, you can give a timeout period. So once it got expired, if you want to move to any other queue, you can give that expiry queue also. So like that, there are many parameters are the messaging parameters, size parameter. So let's see those you know parameters. This will help you to understand that the definitions of all the parameters and all. See so these are the descriptions which you can see here, the consumer count. So this is one of the parameters which will tell you the number of consumers who are consuming this message from the queue. And then you can see a uh, durable, and as I said, expiry address we have, and then queue address, that is the queue name. And then the, the, the temporary selector, schedule count, if there's any scheduled message, what is the count. So you can go through the definition and the property value, what it is and you know, what you have to provide when you're trying to add or any modify the queue. That is one of the you know usage of this command for the attributes. So let's mainly focus on the statistics for today's uh, you know topic. Uh, whenever there is an MDM, you know you added something from the MDM side, the load job got triggered and data got added, and you wanted to know is that you want to monitor the message queue, how it came, what all it came, what is the count right now, before load job, what is the count, after the load job completed, what is the queue count, is it increasing or not? To do that basic testing or troubleshooting we can use this command this is nothing but a server default jms queue and then i have given a test queue just remember you know this is a backslash for you know to escaping the meaning of the sequence slash sequence and then you run this command this is one of the test queue which i have configured before and i have you know published the messages so let me run the command Even this queue has been configured in the web console. I will show you that as well. See, this is one of the statistics. If you see, right? So the main thing you have to focus on the message count and message added. These are the two main parameters. If you see, the message added is overall 26938 lines of message got added. Now okay, that's the total count. And the message count right now, the current status is 26757, which means even though we have added this many messages, there are some part of message got consumed by the downstream. Once it's consumed, you can see the difference of count. So that is, you know, you can understand, you know, what happened. For example, now this is a count. If I go to hub console, let me just see, remember the count, 5, 7 and 3, 8. So let me add one, you know, uh, have a trigger set up. So which will, you know, create a message queue from the MDM side. For the message trigger set up and all, you can go, you can go through the KBs, which will talk about the definition, you know, how to add the message trigger and all, how to add event. So let's focus on the statistics of the message queue in this topic. Let me add. So before that, I can show you the message queue as well. Okay, this bit slow. Okay, meanwhile, you know, just it, it comes up. Uh, let me talk about the JBoss, you know, from the UI. If you want to see the count and all. So once you log into the JBoss, that is localhost 9990 port. So just go to the runtime, and then you can see the messaging queue here, active queue. Click on it. You will see the default. Click on the default. You will see all the messages queues configured. The one today I'm going to take is the test queue, which has the message count. You can see the difference, you know, count here as well. This is one way you can see the count, and you can refresh. You need to refresh every time to see the what is the current result. This is from the UI level. You can see the count. If you are looking for the CLI command for the script purpose, then this will be the best to run the command and see the count. Okay, so yeah, let's one. Okay, got it. Now let's see the message queue. Okay, uh, see, I have configured test queue, which I was talking right. This queue is already configured. Let me click on test. Even test itself has one message count. The queue test message succeeded. You know, it will, it has placed your test message in the queue. Now, if you go and see the count, earlier it was five seven and three eight. If I run the same command, you can see count code increased thirty nine. 
okay as well as message count status also currently it is 58 it's not no one has been consumed so it is 58 okay so this is one of the way so let me you know uh, you know this way we can do even if you add some record also you can see the difference you know if there is any message queue configured and all like I have a trigger set up for you know MDM sample for any record got created there will be event got generated insert event and that will be published yeah I'll talk about that so let's yeah let's talk about the consumer you know count uh, status count okay so let's you know go in depth between the count okay uh, see this is one of the you know I've just used uh, you know GMS code to publish the message so that you know I can show you the multiple message in one shot so this I just configured in the Eclipse where I've configured the message queue so now uh, I'm going to add you know uh, how many messages I'm going to add just 20 messages to the queue I'm just going to send you know hello world message to that queue test queue you can see this so that you know we can see the difference what is the count okay you can see all the 90 message got added from 0 to 90 see 39 it will be added to the 59 or 58 yeah 58 see the count got added and see this even the message count also got added 2677 let's try to consume some message and let's see this difference count is getting reduced or not ideally count will reduce when somebody try to consume the message right so let's uh, try to run some command for the receiver part okay this is one of the receiver i wrote to just to consume i'm going to receive 50 messages from the queue and let me run this command this is this you know java command so this i'm just taking as a reference so that you know to show you the difference of the count So once it's received, it will close the connection. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Connection got closed. Now let's see. Now let's you know run this command. See, 50 messages I've received. So count has to reduce with 77 to minus 50. That will be you know roughly 27. Yep, perfect. See, you can see the 27 as a length count. So what? from this right what you can do right if you're running some load job and you need to troubleshoot that you know is the downstream is getting message or not if you don't have access to the downstream client but you just need to confirm from this your level you know from the MDM level then you can just run this command and you can see the count okay even though we have you know database called you know in our schema C repos MQ change which will indicate as in you know, sense indicate is equal to one if the message is published but if you want to see anything in the you know in the runtime then you can see this count so this is one of the you know helpful yeah this is about the statistics let's focus on the yeah this is, the demo part is done let's go on uh, yeah the summary of this adding a message queue and reading a message queue what we have discussed monitoring and view statistics message queue that has been completed so these are the things uh, which we have completed so we would love to hear from you support videos at informative.com as well as info support twitter so thank you so much. Thanks for listening and watching the video.